Now, historically, the U.S. Department of Defense has been a backer and a funder of exoskeleton technology. Their need is quite clear. Soldiers and Americans are getting injured while practicing. The loads of dismounted infantry and logistics exceed those that are safe for the human body. So you end up with high injury rates and any amount of technology that beeps or chirps or warns you that you are exceeding safe limits is not going to do any good because the task needs to be completed in the amount of time that it needs to be completed. And this is why exoskeleton technology is interesting because it can help safeguard the parts of the body that tend to get injured the most and they can assist directly with completing the task, not just providing a warning that the task is dangerous, something that everyone already knows.